welcome back guys to another video where today I will be reacting to Jaden animations also I would recommend watching her channel so let's get into it like and subscribe for a bit now my three-year anniversary I've been on YouTube for a bit now my three-year anniversary is July 23rd which might not seem like much compared to other people who've been grinding ever since YouTube was invented but it's longer than I thought I'd be doing it for so it's an accomplishment for me. When I first started, I didn't know a thing about animating. People ask me all the time about animation classes and special courses they should take, but I mean, I didn't. Okay, I think she's like really good at drawing. I'm like, I can't even draw like that. Can't do any of that. You want to know how I learned how to animate? I searched on YouTube how to animate. That's it. You'd be surprised at what you can learn from YouTube and how unprofessional I am. If you think I'm some sort of animation expert, stop that. I still have no clue about animating. I could be doing everything wrong. I probably am. I always thought, man, doing YouTube would be so fun, but nah, it never works. I'm just me. There's nothing special about me. I never really had the thought that it could even be a possibility. You know? But here we are, three years later, with two million subscribers, a great community, and pretty much surpassing all my expectations, which were pretty low to begin with, so that part's not as impressive. But it's still crazy! YouTube even sent out a little yearbook to all the channels with over one million subscribers, which I didn't even know was a thing, so it came I didn't even know YouTube does this thing. I've never seen any of the channels kind of like talk about it. The front has like a bunch of all the names that are in there. Up oh, there I am, right next to your boy. <laughs> Open it, it says, hey Jaden Animations, you started your... Okay, so that's when I made the channel, but I didn't post anything until July, so that's what I go by. And it's like, since then, your channel's hit some serious heights. Keep reading and relive some of your biggest and most amazing moments. You open it, and whoa! What's this? It's like this huge timeline. Who could forget your first video? Jaden Animation's intro. <laughs> oh, I wish I could forget it. Up till now, you've uploaded 47 videos. That's an average of one videos a month. <laughs> this is 2016 as well, so it's not like up to date on things. During that time, I was in college, so I only posted like three videos in the span of the entire college year. It sounds worse than it actually is. I, I post more now. Two videos a month. And then it says, like, this is the class of 2016 who hit a million. You can read that if you want. I'm not. Well, I already did. And then it goes through, like, all the channels that hit one million this year, or in 2016. Up there I am. It's dope. And also, I, I tweeted about this. I do have the two plaques that YouTube sends at the 100,000 and, of course, the million. Yeah, I haven't shown it in a video. But look at, look at that. That's insane. Yee. Putting yourself out there in front of so many people is a bit intimidating and a lot of people can get stuck at that part. YouTube is unique and I can't really think of many other careers that are like this. You're flat out exposed to the huge spectrum of different types of people all at once. And they all have the freedom to say anything they want to you while hiding behind a computer screen with almost no repercussions. Like wimps! I think YouTube as a real life cubicle job would be ridiculously hilarious. You're at your cubicle minding your own business, doing work on your little computer, and some random co worker person peers over your wall and goes, Hey, you suck, and I hate you, and walks away. And you're gay. I'm self conscious and have low self esteem, but even I've been able to get the. Okay. Oh gosh. 
desensitized to meaningless hate comments and ignorance. On the surface, a lot of people probably think, wow, that must be hard, constantly dealing with an entourage of stupidity and ignorance. But in a way, I really respect how YouTube is helping me grow tougher skin. It can be harsh, but you can learn to take it. I can tell the difference between a meaningless, you're stupid, and a genuinely helpful critique that I can use to improve my content. Another thing is that when I first started YouTube, I had no idea that people could start seeing me as more than just an average person. <laughs> okay, wait, that might have sounded super pretentious. What I'm trying to say is something special or stand out. And the famous or anything other than Sorry about that. me. I grew up as an average kid in an average school doing average things. Literally nothing special or stand out. And the fact that a lot of people watch videos I make on the internet doesn't change the fact I'm still that average person. Don't put me on a pedestal. I just talk about the way I see things and my opinions. It doesn't make them more valuable than yours or anyone else's. And if you disagree, you can get out. Just kidding. I've gotten comments and messages from people actually saying I'm a god that can do no wrong. And that... Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> it's not healthy for anyone to view someone as more than just a human. All I do is draw dumb cartoons on the internet in my pajamas and people watch them. Yes, 95% of my videos are created in pajamas. You think I'm joking, but I spend like two to three weeks in the same clothes. One more point about being considered a big channel now is how meeting new people and friends on the internet is actually more difficult. You think it's the complete opposite, right? Like, uh, hey Jaden, you've got like at least two million people who'd most likely be willing to be closer friends with you. Why would you even have the balls to complain about this kind of thing? Right? But this ties in with the people start seeing me as more than just an average person thing. It's getting harder and harder to be able to meet someone new without them seeing my sub count and either seeing value in becoming my friend for personal benefit or being intimidated. Because I'm so intimidating. It's strange how it can go in completely different directions like that, isn't it? I miss being able to just talk to someone new and not get sad to hear that they brag to other people about being my friend. Because that's not friendship. In my opinion, at least. I see friendship as a mutual, balanced respect for each other. One person shouldn't see the other person in a higher light or something, you know? Because then I wonder if you're my friend because of me, or because you like the idea of being my friend. There's actually been a situation where I found out someone was all gloating like, Oh hey, yeah, Jane and I are besties, we're, oh my god, we're such good friends. To a bunch of people, and an actual friend of mine asked me if that was true, and I was like, I've never even had a full conversation with that person. I didn't even know their name. Sorry, person. I'm sure you're cool and nice. I still don't know your name. You probably don't know this, but when I meet new people, I definitely hide the fact I do YouTube for a living. Mainly because, how the frick do you even explain, I post videos on the internet as a job, to someone without them getting either confused or very concerned. Yeah, so I put going to college and getting a degree on hold so I can make YouTube videos. Also, I still can't stand when people watch my videos in front of me. You'd think I'd get desensitized by it after three years, but nope! Whenever someone puts on one of my videos in front of me, I still want to slam my head on the counter and frisbee the computer away. Frisbee the computer away and then slam my head on the counter. So when people ask me what I do, I just go, I do... animation oh cool and also it's kind of weird to just meet someone and find out right away that millions of people watch their dumb internet videos that's something i'd prefer they find out after they get to know me a bit so they judge me less but even with all the weird difficulties youtube comes with between trying to explain to your grandparents that you aren't becoming a failure by dropping college for a bit to post internet videos and dealing with stupid people leaving stupid comments and generally being stupid i really really am grateful to be able to be in the spot i'm in boo too cliche yeah, I agree. You're probably super desensitized from YouTubers always talking about being grateful to be where they are. So I'm gonna say I'm totally not thankful and lucky to be in the spot I'm in, and I'm not always gonna be in debt to you for watching my videos and helping my impossible dream come true that I totally thought I could reach in a million years because I'm so full of self-confidence. It's not like all of this has changed my life forever and I'm doing what I love with amazing- I think most of that was just sarcasm friends I definitely would have met otherwise and I can make people happier which is all I ever want to do yeah I'm not grateful at all 
you think I'm grateful? You're grateful, I'm not grateful. Get out of here. Yeah, well, anyway, congrats on three years, everyone. We should all do something. Okay, I, if you're watching this, I'd recommend going checking out The Odd Ones Out, Jane Animations, and Something Else YT. Those are three of my favorites. Okay, this is it for this video. Like and subscribe, please. Sometimes I'm gonna have a scramble through my um uh, um videos, so. Don't get too mad if there's like a big gap in between videos. Okay, uh, like and subscribe. Bye.